Alrighty folks, this is Lurch from Ireland Gaming and welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. We're back in the campaign and I am floating around on my cargo ship because I think it's time for a little naming ceremony. Well, less ceremony, more naming. Um, people have come up with some, some great suggestions for what we're going to call this thing. Um, we had the Mule from Thanny1999 and I thought that was a great name, but unfortunately there's actually a Mule already in the game. The Onyx Watch have a, a little ship called the Mule, I spotted it whenever I was doing a montage earlier. Uh, we also had the Scrapper by Pseudo Bean Machine, that was a great name, um, and very close contestant for winning. Uh, the Cargo Turtle by Eric Gustafsson Tapper, uh, really like that one too, it goes along with the sort of snapper idea that they're all turtles, I really like that. You could go with Michelangelo and Donatello for names. <laughs> um, we also had the Basket from Joshua Robbins, so I quite like that one too, but that's not the name we're going to go for. Um, the one I finally decided going with is The Blackguard by... <laughs> I am going to completely mess this up. Uh, thanks to Kagai Yuuji for the suggestion. <laughs> the name itself, Blackguard, sounds a bit piratey. I like it. It's actually um, written Blackguard, but it's pronounced Blackguard, which I, I really like. It's cool. It's piratey. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's what we're going to call this guy. So we'll get this guy named to be Blackguard, and we're going to spell it like that as well for you know posterity and stuff and we'll get this guy saved in the no not coastal defense let's play cargo hauler we'll call you the blackguard uh also want to take this opportunity to say hi to vicky walker hi vicky um now let's move on to what we're, else we're going to get up to in this episode now i think we're going to have to get into a bit more fighting uh we get the map up here i want to sort of start exploring a little bit but before we do that, we'd like to know what we're getting into. So let's pull all and we'll hop over here to the starting fortress and get that guy loaded in. Uh, why are we over here? I want to build something and I would like a radar helicopter. I know some people have said go all the way to space, but there's really no need and sort of, I don't know, don't need to do this. Uh, I've sort of come up with a bit of a design in my head that should get us all the way up to where we want to go. Now, we need to start a new object, a new vehicle. This is going to be so incredibly simple that I'm probably just going to do it all on camera. Now, this is the design I often use. We don't have a symmetry on, notice. Not yet, I will be using it. Um, first things first, I want to put a chair down. Now, if anyone watched my last Let's Play it series, the old one, this is going to be very much the same as the old one that I made in that, but... A little bit more conservative. The one I made in that was absolutely bloody huge. Uh, we wanted to set spin blocks 30, but we'll not set it off yet because we want to put the spin block on here. Now, next is find spin block, new object, spin, precision spin block. Pop one of you on there. Now, whenever you're placing heli blades, which is what I'm going to use here, uh, I'm using heli blades instead of daddy heli spinners because these are actually significantly cheaper. These are only 90 per blade, whereas every part of the dedicated one is 160. So just doing this to save on a little bit of money. Now, these are going to be rotating clockwise. So you want the arrow pointing in that direction, in the direction that it's going to be turning. How many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six should be plenty. And... Rather than using symmetry to do that, okay, um, you want to be placing them correctly all the way around it. Oh, blah, I should really put this onto the, the docking ray. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, okay, they've obviously got some sort of buoyancy. Let us just get onto the docking ray here and grab him, select you there. The right way, please. That should be a lot better. I can actually hop into the chair here. Hey! Or oh, maybe not. Well, next on the agenda is we want to put a strategic antenna. There we go. And I think I can actually pop this. Can I do this in here? No, I can't connect that. Why can I not connect you to the bottom of that, the thing? Oh, I'm still on the spinner. That's why. Okay modify the hull. I should be able to pop this in here, right? I can. Nice. And these blocks here. This is really not helping me, is it? Alright, let's get symmetry on. 
And some dish pieces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And fill in the gaps. Doesn't look right. It's too big. Is that too big? There we go. That's what I want there. And do the same on the other side. We're nearly there. Just having a nice sort of circle-y pattern here. And that's it. Entire thing. How much does this cost? Oh yeah, 14 and a half K. That is nice. Uh, activate on spawn. All I have to do is basically sit, hit the test button here, and this will enact whatever settings we have here. So, moment of truth. Oh, yes. Undock. That would be a good idea. Oh, there's no AI on this. Last. Does that matter? I think it only matters in combat, right? Oh, let's... Let's be good. Let's just pop an AI in here so it doesn't despawn. Oh, no way. Did I just do that? I just did that. <sighs> okay, I'll fix this quickly. Okay, fixed. Now, undock you. Off. And we're away! Sweet! Now let's see what the map is doing. Oh. This is looking good. I can't even see all the way out there so easily. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, this, as this guy rises up in altitude, we will start to see an improvement in our visibility. Oh, this is a bit wobbly. It should stabilize out because whenever heli blades are pointing upwards, they, ha they have an always up sort of uh, mentality to their lift, so it always faces directly upwards, and it should stabilize out whenever it hits its maximum altitude. Where are we now? 230. This should get to about, well, close to the edge of space, I would think. There's actually quite a lot of lift on this, although it is quite heavy too. 1390 with the AI. That's not too bad. Oh, here's a good idea. Let's save the constructible. And we will call this... Ooh. Builder's caps. Radar copter. And save. Nice and simple. Doesn't need a flashy name. We'll probably build a couple more of these in the future and dot them around the map. Um, the beauty of having this as a vehicle, obviously, is you can move it around a wee bit. So as we sort of clear parts of the map, we can cut back on our visibility where we don't need it. Which is kind of cool. Now we are at 390. Yeah, this should be good. Now let's see what the map's like. Oh wow. Look at that, we can see all the way over to, over to here. This is our next port of call. We really want to get this resource zone. What strength are you? Strength 10? Seriously? Is that all? We could totally take that. Okay, you guys. You guys have some resources available, I believe. Let's just make sure. Before we go all the way, you do have some. Right, that's enough. As long as he has some resources, that's okay. I just want him to be able to keep the other guys um, topped up before we get into any fights. But this looks pretty good. I think we can just take these guys out of play. Resources out of play, there we go. Um, vehicle, or the radar copter. Uh, oh, 448. That's pretty good. Uh, this guy can stay out of play and he'll maintain his visibility, which is really cool. So we can hop over to these guys. We have everything out of play. Let's speedy up time. And I am going to get these guys riled and ready to fight. No, 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 no. Not you. Not you there. Want you to... Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Why you go all the way down? <gasps> I know. It's Waypoint. Where are you, Sonny Jim? Come here. I want you to go all the way to the top again. Thank you. Oh, hello. We have a fight coming. Oh, it's actually... Has it started? Yeah, it's cleared the zone. Sweet. Okay, let's go a little bit further away from our cargo fleet. And that's probably far enough. Actually, if we're standing here and we don't bring this guy into combat, he can support us during combat. 
which is kind of cool. I think it can. I'm not sure if it works like this in the campaign. It does in the vehicle designer, but that doesn't mean to say it does work the same here. So we're definitely going to keep this guy out of the battle. What are we actually fighting here? Oh, a Marauder. Well, we did take out like two of them before. Let's hop onto the Scrapper. That was something else someone mentioned as well. Um, who was it? Sorry, I have this written down. Uh, Hoyer and the Gavote mentioned that the Scrapper would be considered a command ship as opposed to the uh, capital ship that I called it in the last episode. So thanks for that correction. That is appreciated. It's good to know those little details. Oh, off you go. Fighting away. Take the UI off. This per Marauder is really not going to have a very good day. All sorts of yummy damage coming in here. Can I check this with the V menu here? Oh, I can. Sweet. Um, locks alive. Okay, you're getting pretty much blasted to oblivion here. This won't take very long. Oh, there's a salvo of missiles coming in. Any chance I could get over here fast enough? No, you see, those guys are really far away. Scrapper's pretty close, but... Oh, jeez, I just teleported through the roof. Hello. Let's see if I can get over here and maybe steal this Marauder. Might as well. Uh, I'm not very close to it, but um, shouldn't take me too long to get over there. Oh shit, I'm taking damage. Okay, but we're here. Let's see if we can... Oh crap, this is a really bad idea. Uh, where the hell are the AIs in this thing? Uh, gee, I'm gonna need the UI. Let's find a hole, make a hole. Let me in, let me in! Oh crap, there we go. Um, okay. Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> so much for flying, or jumping all the way over there. Ah, oh, and it's too damaged, brilliant. Typical. Thanks very much, game. Asshole. Right, um, that should be this battle finished. Come on, you're gonna despawn, there we go. And battle finished, sweet. So, uh, let's pull everyone out of combat and I'll get in here with the cargo ship and nom 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 all of those lovely little resources. Come here, you. And uh, I am going to go and find something else to fight. I think I'm gonna go over here and try and take this resource outpost straight away. So I will be right back in a minute. Okay, one interruption and a cup of berry tea later. I am back and we're going to, I think, make a little bit of headway and take out Sinner's Outpost. And I am actually going to do my very best to capture this thing. So let us get on with it. Over here, son. Faster, faster. I realize my home base is completely undefended here, but if I see anything coming, I have time to build a small fleet that will, um, a couple of particles or something, that'll be able to take it out. So, oh. Times one, times one. Really just engaged, have engaged further away, but I kind of want to get close to this thing. Uh, let us begin battle and hop onto you. Okay, who's making a beeline for him? I really don't want to have to. What are you shooting at? Crap, is there another enemy over there? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, let us actually take control of this guy, and I'll do something I very rarely do, is forward! Now, where is that? I want to go over here. Now, bugger off AI. It's my, my ship. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, let's turn the AI off on the scrapper. <laughs> well, not off, but... Forward! Water drive one. Oh no, don't blow up on me. I've done all this effort. I've made all this effort to get over here. And it's... Oh, it's totally submerged. What the earth? Yeah, you go on little tiny teeny... No! 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 No, 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 no. I want this. Stop it. Ah, no. I'm stuck. Oh, oh my. What am I doing? Okay, I've, I've broke the ship. Oh, man. I really wanted that. Means I'm actually going to have to go and build something there now. And the problem is, I don't think I have the resources over here to build another one of Ruger's towers. 
Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're gonna have to do something. What the hell is this? Is this another Marauder? You guys are dealing with it okay? Everyone's okay? Yeah, full health everyone. Sweet. That does look like another Marauder. It's getting an awful kicking too. Yeah, Marauder. How much health do you have left? Uh, oh, 2.3k out of 32k. Or 3.2k. So yeah, you're... You're going to die pretty soon now as well. Okay, I'm going to have to work out what I'm going to do on this. This is actually a lot easier than I expected it to be. Especially considering we cleared the tile out as well. Oh, sweet. I have to work out what I'm going to build here. Well, let's let this battle finish up. And I think we're going to wrap the episode up there. We got, we got a little bit of something done. We had a couple of squares cleared. And we got one of those uh, radar copters on the go. And I think we could probably... Where are we here? We definitely have enough resources for another radar copter, which would give us some absolutely brilliant visibility around this area. And that is something I would think I will do either now, or, well, between this episode and next, but I'll probably just do it now. Get back in the seat, seeing as I'm stuck in this blasted thing. In hindsight, I should probably have taken one of the things I can jump out of easily. Okay, so that's the Marauder dead. That should be the end of the battle. I don't think anyone even took any hits, which is pretty awesome. Sweet. That's nice. So, yeah. Um, that's combat over. I think I'll wrap the episode up here. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, any likes, subs, or comments are really, really awesome. I love hearing from you guys, and I read every single comment. As always, take it handy, and have a bloody good day.